Hey guys, what's going on? The Kaplunk here, and today we're going to be looking at a game called Soul Gambler. Now, as many of you can tell, I am a ginger, so I have the occasional jokes around being soulless, so I thought it would be fun to, uh, to play a game where I get to gamble with my soul, if I had one. So, uh, from here you have play, you have achievements, your language options, and then to quit. We're going to play this here. Select a new game. And the preface. Oh, nothing's ever happened in his life. Everything looks the same. Gotta be exciting to be in a big job in a big company. Alright, this guy sounds like he's pretty down on his luck. Oh, my name is Fast. Awesome. The status of your reports. I'm finishing them, dude. We should already be done. So I'm a slacker. So I guess I have a lot in common with this guy. And someone's going to assess me. I've never been in a job where I've had an assessment done, except for like you know fire and safety kind of assessments, but not... Maybe that's what it is. And the HR employee arrived. And getting out of work with it. Sweet. Fill out this form. Okay, so... It says put some attribute points into health, manipulation, intelligence, and charisma. Well, being a ginger, you need manipulation, otherwise you are able to make other people's souls. Um, charisma. Yeah, let's go with some charisma. And some intelligence. I don't need strength. For health. Born the same day as my son. That's great. Alright, so I'm sitting at a bus stop. Sounds like fun, so obviously I'm not too successful in my job if I can't afford a car where I'm stuck having to, uh, to bus it. And it's a gypsy lady. I don't have a good feeling about her. Ah, it was a shitty day, lady. Need my fortune. Hmm. Here goes. Sir, lady, I'm broke. Say, let's go. Look in my hand. Nope. I'm not happy, lady. We could change everything this opportunity. Fantastic. Something terrible will happen to you. Oh, that's... Um... Ed. Packed with your inner demon. Oh, yeah. Some random lady on the street told me that I need to make a pact with my inner demon. I would probably walk away. Oh, and sell my soul. Yes. Fresh fruits for selling my, my soul. That, uh, sounds like a good time. Oh, that gypsy lady turned hot. Alright. Thing is dark and twisted version of everything. That's, that's awesome. Alright, so I have some questions. What is this place? Who are you? What's happened? 
I like his face in this one, so we'll say, who are you? My god. Bison comfort. Okay. Uh, what is this place? My perception of reality. Pretty. You are awake. Okay. Alright, so I need to sacrifice my soul to get what I want. In this uh, little Let's Play walkthrough, I'm going to gamble most of my soul to get what I want. Because frankly, I'm soulless now, so it's okay. Okay, so he's bugging out. A ring hell. Yeah, that's right. I'm listening. And a random knife appears in my hand. Woo! So who do I sacrifice? Oh, I have to cut myself. I don't need more. Hell no, I don't want to live an empty, dull life. I can make the cut, or I can let the dagger fall off, fall off my hand. How about fall out of my? You know what? I'm gonna cut myself. There was no pain. Instead of blood, a light poured up and cut on my hand. That's weird. And now I'm back to the normal bus stop. That's weird. Okay. shorter the line, the less the soul you have left. That's, that's nice. At least I have an indicator in real life to tell me how much soul I have. I don't have a blue line, so I guess I... Anyways, let's continue. Okay, so I don't die if I have no soul. That's all right. Okay, that's cool. She just busts out the purse. That purse must be huge to have a mirror like that. Do you see that thing? It's like huge. It's bigger than her head. It's a naked version of me. Oh, hey. So I use the naked version of myself to talk between me and my inner demon. That's awesome. One percent to make the bus arrive early. Hell yeah. Bam, there's the bus. Sweet. I could really use this here in Toronto with the TTC, the way it runs. Because my soul would be gone in like a week. Alright. I'm chilling in my pad. Oh, that's a sweet diehard poster. I need one of those. End of the creepy soul poster with nail thing. Okay, that's weird. What have I done? You've sold your soul, dude. That's what you've done. To her. Oh wow, my room. The worst here. Kind of creepy. All the hands in the door there. <laughs> that candle in the book though kind of looks like a wang. <laughs> oh, 
What will be my first wish? I thought it was making the bus arrive. Um, I have some ideas. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Who wants to make a small suggestion? Oh. Okay, so for 10% of my soul, I can... Guess get more attributes into my health? Ah, sure, why not? Oh, three attributes, sweet! So now I'm stronger than anything else. Oh, cool. Sure, lady, that was much better. Bye-bye, lady. Back in the real world again. I didn't think of All right, and that is the preface. I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to do a video with each chapter just so that these videos aren't like super long and get real boring. So, uh, so yeah, that was the beginning of soul gambler uh hope you stick around for the next couple of chapters to we can complete the game so uh yeah until next time have a good one guys